first off, people will have said about me that I am the Mr. Spock, the, the bringing the logic <laughs> uh, into negotiation. One of the things that I advise is you fight fire with water, not with fire. Yeah. The one way to bring like emotions it. down is to bring the logic up. But I also want to tell you that this approach that I'm describing works with people who don't care about fairness. And the example I'll give you is a friend of mine made a rookie error. He went... And he filed for a trademark on his own without using a lawyer. Right. And what he didn't realize is that as soon as you file trademarks, they become public. Yeah. yeah. They, they have to be, right? Because otherwise, how could somebody else protest your filing? And so then he went to buy the website associated with the trademark. He discovered that some troll, who I'll call Edward, because that's the guy's name, uh, <laughs> had bought the uh, URL. And Edward writes to him and says, hey, I'll sell this thing back to you for 2500 bucks." Now, my friend is dumb, but he's not stupid. He valued this URL at a lot of money. But he also realizes a company, an organization called ICANN, which is a domain registry and will resolve disputes. And for 1300 bucks, they would figure out what's going on. And what Edward had done is called registration in bad faith. So Edward would lose. Right. And in fact, if you go on the website, you can discover he's been in many of these cases and has lost every one of them. So my friend writes back to Edward and says, look, you know, 2,500 bucks, uh-uh. Uh, I'd rather pay ICANN 1,300. I'd save money and you'd get nothing. And so Edward comes back and says, okay, 1,100. And my friend says, well, you know, I don't think that's fair because look, if I pay you 1,100, yeah, it's better than 1,300 at ICANN. But you're up 1100 You have no other use for this name. I'm only up $200. i am saving 200 compared to ICANN. It'd be like my offering you 200 So I'd be up 1100 and you're only up 200 I wouldn't expect you to take that. You shouldn't expect me to accept your 1100 Why are we having this negotiation? What's the pie here? Because I'm going to get the URL no matter what. If you sell it to me, I get it. If I if we go to ICANN, I get it. So the only reason we're having this negotiation, the pie here is to save the $1,300 fee from ICANN. I can't save it without you, you troll. You can't save it without me. Let's split it 650, 650. Edward comes back and says, look, all right, 900, which is basically halfway between <laughs> 650 and right. uh, 1100. He's trying to do the old split the difference game. Right. So Edward's done every trick in the book, sort of like anchoring high. Yeah. Then uh, trying to get almost all of the pie, then moving halfway, splitting the difference. My friend has given a principled approach. And so now what's the last thing that happens? My friend doesn't answer this email. And a week later, Edward says, okay, 650, 650. And they're done. Now, Edward doesn't give a damn about the pie. He doesn't care about fairness. But he realizes my friend does. And so if he wants to get a deal... He has to accept the fair deal. And essentially, if you think about the other approach, it's arbitrary. Nothing sticks. 2,500, 1,100, 900. It's like, right. yeah, you're Gumby out there, man. <laughs> and so principles beat arbitrary. And that's why you can even use the pie when you're going against somebody who doesn't care about fairness at all. It's such a great example. And I know one of the other common things we hear is whenever you enter a negotiation, be prepared to walk away from the table. Be, yeah. be in a position where you could walk away. Yeah.